what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we are rolling along right into the 90s with this kiss review series talking kiss revenge and i want to make a disclaimer right out the gate i apologize if these videos have varying audio quality i'm still learning how to get my voice to sound right and how to mix and mic placement and how to dampen the room and all. i'm learning as i go so some of them might sound better than others i apologize so just bear with me eventually i'll get a hold of it i promise but we are talking revenge and this is a dark horse favorite for a lot of people a lot of folks i have seen online really care for revenge a lot they like their 70s and a little bit in the eight, but they think revenge is a return to heavy form and for years it wasn't my biggest thing up until recently maybe in the last couple months re-listening to it and especially having to sit down and listen track by track to do this review it jumped some spots yes it has some little glaring holes that i don't care for but all in all as a whole this album moved up some and i really did have a good time with it at least kiss decided to not put so many tracks like they did in their last album coming in at number 12 is spit now the instruments aren't bad and they got a good groove but if you've watched this channel so far you know that kind of cheesy lyrics aren't my thing with the certain ways the na na na's and the hey hey hey's and saying things like streetcar named desire and stuff really just drop songs heavy well this one is g-rated and that has an annoying chorus where like gene is like boo boo ba 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 and then he scats in the middle of the song and he talks about like cushion for the pushing and then there's a random star spangled banner in there the song's just all over the place and, this, and to say don't mean spit to me just say shit you already had a song called burn bitch burn just say shit number 11 thou shall not just a cringy bad story the song itself the way it sounds isn't terrible but it is just it's a cringy story number 10 take it off strong riff very strong riff but the song is so crude like like taking it off your panty in a way in the air uh-huh well however the rhythm of it goes but the uh-huh is after everything it sounds like a song that was made just specifically to get girls in the crowd to get naked is what it, what it feels like to me. Number nine, Car Jam 1981. That's just very cool that they included that on there. It's something you get to hear and it makes you read up a little bit more on the history and I enjoy the way it sounds. It's a cool thing to have on playing in the background. Number eight, Paralyzed. Solid riff and it's not a bad gene or chorus, but with the repeating, it's all right. Just kind of gets old as it goes on, but to, all together, not a terrible song. Number seven, I Just Want It. It's not as heavy as the other songs on the album feels more hot in the shade esque in my opinion but it's catchy it's a toe tapper chorus is legit so from here on out the rest of the songs and the rest of this album is pretty good stuff number six every time i look at you solid ballad it's no forever but it's good paul sounds great the acoustic sounds great i really have a good time with this one it's a good sigh and breath of calmness for this album it's a little heavier album so with this one it's a nice little take the edge off number five unholy this is the big hit off this album or one of the big hits off this album i should say live staple i do enjoy saying it live the verse i think is not very good but the riff is solid it sounds dark it sounds ominous great start to the album even though it's that low of a song on the list to start this album off it does let you know oh shit kiss is not crazy nighting it up in this one they're doing something different but the chorus is great i catch myself singing it all the time the riff is fun it's fun to play on guitar all good stuff number four tough love love the chorus i love how this chorus sounds they have like this time change in the bridge that's really cool they do a lot of different experimenting in quotes with this album that they add a couple different elements to their game that i really like they have a nice harmony before the solo that sounds beautiful taking us into our top three and that is heart of chrome it's just a legit all-around good song it doesn't have something where i go well this is a best gene song or it's got acoustic or this it's just an all-around great song that i enjoy having on at all times good harmonies good everything now we're down to our top two and the one at number one has probably always been at number one for this album but the one at number two used to be at the bottom of my ranking and as time has gone on it has climbed from number 12 to number two and that is domino and if you've listened to the review series you were probably thinking god gave rock and roll to you but i will get into that one next baby number two domino lyrics not the biggest fan of the lyrics but that groove is on point leading you into such a strong chorus 
again you have to have such a strong tight band musically strong bridge strong chorus for me to absolutely dislike your lyrics i'm a big lyric guy i don't really care for these lyrics but they are so tight in this song and that chorus is so catchy that it all makes up for it number two but i've already spoiled my number one and that's god gave rock and roll to you and if you've listened to my other reviews i don't like rock power anthems yeah kind of songs it's never been my thing but dude when this comes on if you're not air guitaring or air drumming or air basing or all of the above i will hit every in that intro to this song dude i play every single instrument i hit the drums coming in the guitar i'll throw some bass in there and sing it like your life depends on it and when you see them do it live it does something to you and i know this whole review series has been, we get, we're doing the studio albums, not live version. But my lord, if you don't have some sort of emotional attachment to this song after seeing them play it live, my god, I will exhaust myself air guitaring, drumming, basing, singing to this song. It's a workout. You could start a cardio class off this song. That's my number one. What's your guys' thought? What's your track listing? Put it down below. Do you love this album? Their darker style? Do you hate this album? We should go back to Crazy Nights. They're not your vibe. Let me know down below what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. We got a few more albums to go and we are done with this Kiss review. Then we will rank the albums and see where they stack up. So guys, thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. You guys are the best. Peace.